Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, I have a very important video for you guys today. In this video, I'll be talking about the economy updates that Rockstar has implemented with the most recent Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC. All right, they've basically given a payout buff for particular contact missions, taxi work, and open wheel races. So I'm going to go through here. And they don't, Rockstar doesn't tell us exactly what the percentage is. So I went through, I did some testing, and I'm going to show you guys what my results are. And we'll talk about this and see whether or not, you know, what the payout buff is, what is the percentage, but is it worth it? Is it enough? All right, so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on future content just like this. Make sure you have notifications turned on as well. And make sure you guys drop a like if you enjoy this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with the taxi cab work. And this is my very first fare. And as you see right here, I made over $2,800. That's pretty substantial. And then after 10 fares, I made over $37,000. And as you see in the right corner there, previously, I had done 20 fares and only made $34,197, right? So that's a pretty good little boost right there. And people have to remember, I mean, doing taxi cab work, it, you're not going to get, you know, rich. You're not getting hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's designed just to have, you know, have a fun, chill grind and kind of break up the monotony. At 13 fares delivered, I had over $50,000. And then when I got my car stuck on this train and had to abandon the taxi work, after 15 fares, I had made over $60,000, right? So at 20, I probably would have made closer to $80,000. So quite a decent payout buff with that. And it makes it to where if they put taxi cab work on double or triple cash money, it will be very substantial. It'll be definitely something you want to do. All right, let's take a look at the open wheel races. Now, I don't have too much to, uh, you know, kind of compare this to going back uh, through my footage and checking out some other things here. But it looks like with just five laps, the minimum amount, just one person racing at five laps in around roughly five minutes, because we know that the amount of time you spend will also influence your, your payout. But at roughly five minutes, you're making around $10,000 just by yourself. So if you could get a full lobby, I mean, st typically full lobby payouts were around $70,000. So you could make well over $100,000 on a full lobby with a full max payout on a decent length of a race. And as you see right here at seven and a half minutes, I made almost $15,000. So again, another pretty substantial payout buff for your open wheel races. I can't wait to get a whole bunch of people together and find out what it's going to look like with a full lobby in there. All right, now we got some contact missions that were buffed as well. Not as many as I would like. I just would have liked the contact mission buff or payout buff throughout all of them. But the Super Yacht Life missions, the Lamar Lowriders, the Operation Paper Trail, Casino Story, Gerald's Last Play, Madrazo Dispatch Services, Premium Deluxe Repo Work, and the Project Overthrow missions all got a payout buff. I just wish it was across the board for all of them. They all need a payout buff, but... It is what it is. So right here, I'm doing Gerald last play mission. I'm doing deal with it. And previously, with another player, which was a crew member, I got a payout of 18480 right? So the current payout as of today by myself, and I ran through this. This mission took less than four minutes. I got $18,000 even. So another substantial payout. The traditional payout for this mission between four and six minutes is roughly ten thousand dollars so that's pretty substantial right there now i'm moving on to a super yacht life missions and i'm completing the mission all hands on deck and previously when i did this it was double cash money and i made twenty eight thousand nine hundred dollars and that was on double cash money payout right so i'm go ahead i'm completing the mission now let's go ahead and find out what i got paid in this i am solo and yes these are all on hard mode as well because that will automatically max out at 1.5 payout but solo by myself hard mode thirty three thousand six hundred dollars so very good little bump right there and from me just you know doing these tests and running some numbers here it looks like everything that rockstar has buffed it looks like it's a double payout buff it looks like the taxi cab payouts are double. Uh, the max amount is going to be higher, double, almost actually more than double. 
And the more you do with the tax emissions, you're actually going to be making more of a double payout because it'll compound to a certain level. So that's pretty good. And then with the contact missions, those are looking to be with some rough numbers ran. It looks like double payouts. And that's going to be quite beneficial once Rockstar puts these missions on double cash payout bonuses in the future. So very good for solo players. Definitely going to help out. And again, you have to, guys have to remember, you know, contact missions, taxi work, open wheel races, they're not designed to be the best money making method in the game, right? But these payout buffs are substantial. They are noticeable. Uh, and when Rockstar puts them on, you know, payout bonuses in the future, it'll be very noticeable. And then when you have, you know, open wheel races, I know, I know the open wheel races are not the most popular, but if you can get a lobby together, uh, you'll be looking at some very substantial payouts, especially if you win and good payouts for the top five at the very least, right? So not bad with this. I wanted to kind of run these numbers for you guys, give you the info that I had. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out what data miners can find, if they can get the actual percentages. It may be a little bit different, uh, but this is what it's looking like so far with the numbers that I've ran. So decent, not bad. It's a good start, and I have to give credit where credit's due and applaud Rockstar for you know attempting to make the economy better. And, uh, you know, improving the quality of life, you know, especially for payouts for solo players on GTA Online. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on future content just like this. Smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out. Yeah.